All right, it's time for interactive. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play Store or the App Store and catch all our content from the tip of your fingers. And there are occasions where you can interact with myself, Lance or Ricardo in the live chat feature. Also, be sure to check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. Let's take some comments from Monday's show on Darren Bravo, taking a step back from international cricket. Plate says, those selectors are the reason West Indies cricket is in the state it is right now, a complete shame. Athena says, San firm, Darren Bravo. Akbar says, Ricardo, you make so much sense, bro. Give the guy another chance. There is no one in comparison to him right now. Constantine Desmond Haynes played his last match for the West Indies on April 13, 1994, and he was 38 years old. So is it that Darren Bravo at 34 is too old to be selected? Warren says, I think it's a good decision to release Darren Bravo. Phil Simmons have destroyed him by forcing him in the side when he was not performing. The best thing to do was to help him rebuild his game. Dave Van Der Williams, all due respect to the great man, Mr. Desmond, but you are not being honest with us in the West Indies. We need a better explanation. So, um, yesterday on the segment, of course, you know, Ricardo talking about him being um, not too very keen on the explanation given by selected Desmond Haynes and, of course, Darren Bravo deciding to take some time back. Yeah. We didn't hear from you. <sighs> this is a tough decision to take because Darren Bravo has earned his spot in this squad. There's no question about that. And uh, when Desi Haynes suggests that they are building a squad for the next World Cup, um, the fact is that the West Indies has to qualify for the next World Cup. And yes. every ODI game that the team plays between now and qualification would, would, would impact on whether they qualify or not. So you need to play your strongest team now. And Darren Bravo represents the quality that would help the West Indies being the strongest team. I'm not sure what the selection panel of Desi Haynes, Roland Butcher and Darren Sammy, which is the panel that selected this ODI squad, uh, would have been thinking here. And um, I, I, I understand Darren Bravo's frustration. I know there are a lot of West Indies fans who lost hope in Darren Bravo because there were times in his career when he appeared uncommitted, but that was some time ago. And he appears to be committed now and his bat is doing a lot of talking and he would definitely help the West Indies team now. So it's shocking that he has been omitted. Yeah. All right, let's take this tweet. All right, Joe Dizzle says, I have Clarendon College winning D Cup and Champions Cup. The machine from Chapelton is well oiled. I would be shocked if they lose. Lance? Well, Do you we agree said it. with I, her? I, I, I have to say, I think Clarendon College is the best schoolboy football team in Jamaica at the moment. So it's not surprising that people are backing them to win. All right, right now it's 1 1 between Casey and Glenmere. So wow. anything can happen at this point. We have to wish you goodbye, though. That's all from us for today. But don't you worry, tomorrow we'll be back with another set of sporting events and talking points. So have a beautiful evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Hold the shake when you're moving, you come vibrate when you're rolling.